Hello my friends and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. In our last video, we did help out the Wapiti before, I don't want to say wasting time, but kind of wasting time <laughs> doing more side quests and such. Now in today's video, I do want to eventually head back to Beaver Hollow. There's a couple quests I want to work on here. I also want to see if the veterans quest is going to repop back up. I, I don't know what happened to it. But before we do all that, I'm going to actually head to Saint Denis because when I'm in Saint Denis, I can visit the Trapper to drop off my legendary pelts and sell other things. I can also then go to the fence to potentially get a new trinket of some sort and maybe also get a new newspaper. So, so that's my plan. If something exciting happens, I shall obviously bring you back in. But if not, I will just meet you in Beaver Hollow. All aboard! Holy crap! Come on! We've let the torch of liberty. Now let's fan the flames. Freedom of tyranny of taxation. Dude, they just fire bombed or Molotov cocktailed this building here. You all are really um I think you need some help. That's that's very not okay. It's not my fault! I didn't do it! I didn't do it! All right, well, I am in Saint Denis and I am at the local fence and he can make me a wolf heart trinket. And this is going to let me consume two times more alcohol before feeling negative effects of being drunk. Um, sure, because I drink a lot. But you, know, you, are. you never know when oh, it might come in handy. <laughs> but that that is now purchased. I won't ask too many questions about its previous ownership. What else does it say in my compendium? Um, wolf's heart, moose, eagle. I feel like I do, all things considered, I feel like I do have a, well, no, I don't. <laughs> I don't have as many trinkets as I probably should have. Although I was able to, I didn't purchase any or have them made, but I, there are several things now available at the, at the trader over here, the legendary uh, pelt trader that I can have made, but um, I, I don't, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't think many of them are that attractive. But anyway, that is all now sorted and and I can move on. You're about to witness true justice in action. Yeah. Crack his damn neck. He deserves worse. Who's getting hanged? Ridicule your disfigurement. Disfigurement. You murdered her in cold blood. For your awful vanity and pride, you will pay. You'll pay. Yeah. Oh, oh, hey, Trish. Yes, you live. Oh, Lord. Any last yeah. words yeah. before the noose? That ugly bitch deserved what she got. Seriously? You are a horrible person. It's no. ironic, come. Pull. Oh. Oh. There he goes. Oh. I heard the neck snap. Damn. Cruel and abhorrent behavior will not That's stand in this else. country. These legs twitching. Justice won this battle, but the war is far from over. Heed these words. Bravo! Okay. Kind of makes me hungry watching that. That is such a messed up statement. Makes me feel alive. No. It doesn't. I mean, this is a video game and I'm still just like, ooh. Although it's... She... He killed a woman because she made fun of how he looks. Uh, and then he is now dead for it too. I think that's the synopsis of what I picked up in that... 10 seconds of interaction. And we're back in Beaver Hollow with glorious, beautiful rain. And and the other good thing is that uh, Hamish's quest has popped up again. So if there's time, we'll try and do that today. No newspapers. I went to Saint Denis. There was nothing there. And same thing for Ainsburg. I fast traveled there and, and the marker just poof, went away. So that must mean there's none currently available. But first things first, let's hitch still not Wednesday maybe and see if she stays put <laughs> the last couple times i've hitched her she ends up like around the corner or down the road she's she's very fidgety my still not wednesday okay and now i do want to talk to leopold strauss first the debtors have been dealt with and you need to speak with strauss i i feel like this is going to be an anger conversation because of how the last couple debts collecting have have gone although i probably should say real quick just in case Things go horrible, you know, because sometimes they do. It is glorious rain right now. Someone's sleeping in the rain. Who is that? Karen. Uh, she's not sleeping. She's drunk. Back to Pearson. It's been a while since we've been here. 
Oh no. We're not. Is everybody mad at me? I know it's been a while, guys, but did you forget about me? Nobody wants to talk to me. They might be mad at me. Or maybe I have to talk to Strauss first. I don't know. Or maybe they're mad because it's raining and they don't want to speak to me. That could be another reason, too. Um. Oh, Reverend. Hello, Reverend. Hi, Reverend. Arthur. Hello. Hi. Glad to see you've got your act together at last. I am trying. At least something good's come out of this. All right, Mr. Morgan. I would recommend what Arthur recommended to John. Get your stuff and just go. Okay, Mr. Strauss. Confront. Hey. Ah, how did you get on, Mr. Morgan? Just Danny. Hmm. Just... Get up. What? Get up! What? What is wrong? Nothing's wrong. Nothing at all. What are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Uh-oh. Get your bag. Oh. Is this it? I don't understand. I ain't gonna kill you. Well, I probably should. You disgust me. And you shame us. If we could be shamed any more than we already are, that should do. Uh. Go! I don't understand you. What are you doing? Go and get a job! You know, they, they say the sick delude themselves. I was your friend. You and me, we ain't decent. But those folk, they was. Now here, take that. Take that and get lost. I'm leaving. Bye. Oh, oh, Arthur. <laughs> 50 bucks. Money lending and other sins completed. Only a, I don't think it's, I think it's just, there's no ranking. It just pops up as a bronze. But anyway, after seeing the senselessness of Strauss's loaning, Arthur throws him out of the camp. Yay. That was, you know, honestly, you probably saved his life <laughs> by doing Mr. that. Morgan. Miss Susan. I did what had to be done. I know you did. I'm not saying Kelly. anything. Okay. What's with you? Are you gonna throw me out like Strauss? No. Maybe. If it comes to it. Okay. Guess I'll see you later then. Sure thing, Morgan. Tilly. How are you? You ain't gonna kick me out too, are you? No. That's it. You Keep we need. Faith. Well. Try to keep your head straight. All right. All oh, right, there's Arthur. food. I can get food. Hi, Uncle. Uncle. Hell of time, Arthur. I don't want any coffee. I want actual food food. Because, you know, Arthur's done. Really? Am I? It's going to be one of those days, isn't it? Stubble, Stubble, take it quickly. <laughs> I'm going to feed Arthur, check in with a few more people, and then, since we're here, we may as well do, um, I think it was Trelawney's quest that I wanted to do next. I'd ideally wanted to do, um, Hamish's quest, but I don't want to travel all the way over to Hamish and then all the way back here, because that's, that's a lot of no, no nonsensical traveling. You Hi, Mary okay, Beth. Mary Beth? Are you okay, Arthur? What happened with Strauss? There's nothing else for him left here. Maybe not for the rest of us, neither. Well, don't give up on everything just yet. Mm. Uh-huh. Okay. She's yeah. like, uh-huh. Whatever. Crazy. Um, let's see. Is there anyone else hey, around? Kelly. Hello. I don't like the sound of this. All I'm saying, something happens, we get split up, we meet there. O one Gila Dam, all right? All right. John? It's good you're thinking about this. 
I don't see things turning back around at this stage. Probably not. Nope. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Okay. Mr. Reverend? Reverend? I think you did the right thing with Herr Strauss. It was time. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. Yes, I'll leave you to it then. Be You're well. Like the only one who... Well, I guess Miss Susan did sort of agree. Where is Abigail? Oh, there she is. You're doing the right thing. I can't believe it's got to this. I know, but here we are. I mean, I would, su I would suggest they leave now, but I'd also be kind of concerned that if they left now, that Dutch would come after them in some weird sense of vengeance or, I don't know, something like that. I am going to shave again because I want him to be a nice, pretty faced. Nice and clean faced. So we can see his sickness a little better. <laughs> but anyway, let's look at Trelawney's quest. So the fine art of conversation, Tron Trelawney needs to speak with you. Who are all these people here, I wonder? Oh, I see Charles. Um, that's the only one I really recognize. Well, let's... um. Let's see how this is going to go. Hopefully I can actually speak with Trelawney and not be interrupted by other people. Josiah? I, um, I was, uh... Leaving again? Yes, just leaving. I'll see you soon. <coughs> Perhaps. Uh, what do you mean? Well, if I was you, I'd disappear too. Mm -hmm. This is all pretty much over. <laughs> well, I'll be back. No, you won't. Let's not pretend no more. <laughs> Get out of here. I'll miss you, Arthur. You've been a fine friend to me. No, no let's not get over sentimental. Well, oh, the place is quiet. Get out of here. You go with my blessing. Thank you, Arthur. Wow, everybody is really leaving. I hope they all survive. But he has a wife and kid he needs to worry about, too, Found right? a friend looking for you. Mr. Morgan. Oh, Rachel. Sir. How are you? A little better. I hope so. How can I help you? I'm sorry to impose on you again, but I believe I've made progress brokering peace. Oh, wow. You have? I believe so. That's shocking. Colonel Favors has agreed to a meeting to discuss and maybe resolve his alleged grievances and mine. Now, he has lied to me more times than I care to remember, but maybe this time he must want peace. Why could he possibly want to humiliate us further? Well, we got words for his kind, but... They're colloquial. <laughs> uh, perhaps I could make one last request. My men are not allowed to carry arms. You want us to keep the peace? Yeah, it'll be a lot of dull talking and ceremony. But I feel with some non-tribe members present, their chances of lying or worse will be reduced. Will you, Arthur? Yes. It ain't my business, brother. No, I know. But it is mine. Do it for me. Yes. Charles, I got I've you. saved your life. Do it for me. <sighs> sure. Come on. You owe this man. You should have him do your negotiation. Let's go. <laughs> I do appreciate how when I'm doing Strauss's quest, it was all rainy and muddy and it, it, the the environment fit the vibe of the quest and then suddenly I talk to Trelawney and it's it all goes away I wonder if that's if it's meant to be that way but I liked it and I'm glad Trelawney's getting away too I'm 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 glad that there are enough people in this gang who are just like oh, I'm gonna get out I wish some of the girls would go like I wish Mary Beth and Tilly and would drag Karen away you know, sober her up and open a dress shop or something, something, I don't know, practical. Go to Saint Denis and and be like a poker baroness or something like that. I don't know. I'm just making up words at this point. But anyway, let's let's continue on here. I wonder where this meeting's going to take place. I feel like they said it, and you know, I I, I swear I'm paying attention. <laughs> This way. I also have some men meeting me there. I wasn't sure if you'd be able to help. Thank you for doing this, both of you. 
You have already done so much. Ain't a problem. Mm -hmm. Just hope nobody recognizes me. I've had a few run-ins with the army recently. I wish we could have done more to control the situation. Yeah. That shouldn't have gotten involved. Now yeah. Eagle flies us under arrest. Yeah. It certainly won't help our case today. I will find a way to help him. I promise you. I just hope Colonel Favors can be reasoned with. I am not asking for very much, but when our people are sick and hungry, and we find our medicine and supplies are being deliberately withheld, yeah. how can we not view that as something personal? When they destroy our sacred sites, how can I convince Eagle Flies and the others that they shouldn't fight back? What are you doing? Sorry, Charles. Maybe that's part of the reason they're doing these things. Because they want you to fight. That's possible. Be able to say, look, you see how these savages behave? Perhaps. Thank you for helping Captain Monroe to retrieve those vaccines, Arthur. You're welcome. He will be at the meeting and is one person who knows the true situation, at least. I still have hope that we can come to an agreement. Oh, the music. I love the music. <laughs> I'm never going to stop saying that. I wish they had more fast traveling like this in the game. I know they already have a lot of it. Especially when I actually fast travel myself. But there's just something about this. It seems like this as part of the mission that are just wonderful. Where where did we end up at? Um not that far from where we just were. Okay. Yeah. Here we are. There's my men up ahead. Hello. Okay. Easy. These men are our friends. Come on, let's go. This way. I'm just hoping this isn't a trap. That's that's all, all I'm hoping for is that we're not going and they're just going to not so secretly murder all of us. Whoa. Slow it down. Good. All right. Whoa. We're here. Colonel Favors, Captain Munro, we come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? They're uh, friends of my people. Hmm. Interesting looking fellows. <laughs> yeah, they won't cause any trouble. Well, I should hope not. <laughs> Listen, Mr. Um... <laughs> Chief. <clears throat> yes, uh, Mr. I can't say that silly name. What is it? In English, they call me Rain's Fall. Yes, yes, I'm mine. Uh, I'm sure they do. Ugh, this guy already. Don't like him. Listen, we're all Americans here, and we want an outcome. But quite frankly, quite frankly, I, I'm confused. Your men are little more than criminals, in my opinion. Really? <laughs> Keep breaking peace treaties we've made causing disturbances in everybody's lives. But I pride myself on being a gentleman. Really, I do. But there are limits. So let me be very... Arthur. Are you okay, man? Someone. Jackson, take him away. Where was I? Your gentleman with limits? Are you being facetious, sir? Yeah. Come this way, buddy. I said... Are you being facetious, Captain Monroe? No, sir, I am not. Chief Reigns. That's, uh, <gasps> Reigns' fault. Exactly. 
Chief Rains, the thing it's quite is, a cough. Federal government. Sure. Yeah. Wait here. I'll fetch you some water. I'll, I'll be fine. Thank you. Oh, oh, Arthur. No, no. You know he's going to have Monroe court-martialed. Or attempt to. He's going to make a disgrace of him. What? Monroe? He seems likable enough for a West Pointer. Why? You know what Favors is like. Because he thinks it's right. Because he thinks Monroe is a patsy. Or a spy. He's convinced he had something to do with those vaccines getting stolen. He thinks Monroe is going to force him into making a concession with the Indians. So he removes Monroe. Removes how? Favors wants him tried for treason. What? And hanged. What? Why does Favors care about the Indians? Because he doesn't want to back down. I mean, his whole professional life. We know what they say about him. High tail favors. The man who missed a battle. Poor Monroe. Kind of liked him. I know. Me too. Well, still, he's kind of stuck up. Uh Your men violated the treaty. That treaty is null and void. I have been feeling better. Yeah. Come on. <coughs> Let's go. <coughs> new lands. The lands you currently occupy belong to the United States government. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? Good day, Colonel Favors. Well, that was remarkably unproductive. <clears throat> so I'm afraid the federal government was quite clear, Colonel, that it wanted peace, and peace for all, and that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Oh, is that so, sir? And did it want impudence, sir, from a junior officer in public? Was that its plan too, sir? You insult me. You insult the regiment. Arrest this man. Arrest me? Gross insubordination. Disobeying an order. Treason. Are you mad? You had those vaccines stolen. You disrupted a negotiation. Let him go. This is all getting out of hand. Hi, right. Captain Monroe, let's get out of here. All right, right now. If I you, I'd keep my mouth shut, amigo. I don't want to kill this man, but you shall. bitch. Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. Yeah, let's get out of here. Time to get out of here. Come on. Don't be dumb. I'll kill you. Get off we me. Need to leave. Oh, yeah, we need to leave. Oh, get on the horse. Follow me. <laughs>
hopefully don't die. That's our plan. Kill them before they kill us. Ouch. This was meant to be a truth. That just happened. I've been an army man my whole life. I heard them talk. They was gonna have you hang for treason. You can't die for those fools. Yeah. And what about the chief? We'll do what we can. I guess I won't be submitting my report. I wouldn't think so. Hold it. Are we gonna go sometime soon? To the <coughs> there we go. <coughs> oh, Arthur. <laughs> Get out of here, Captain Monroe. I fear it may be Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Here's some money. You take it and get out of here and start a new life somewhere. Yeah. I hear Tahiti's nice. Thank <laughs> you. Just hop on a train to San Denis, jump on a boat, but avoid Guam. Where? Forget about it. <laughs> Bad joke. <laughs> Meet me at the reservation. Hmm? <coughs> Morgan! <clears throat> oh. Are you okay? Well, never better. What are you doing here? I'm on my way down to Mexico. They're finally sending me on a mission. Uh, Brother Dorkins is very jealous. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Arthur. <laughs> What's wrong? He's dying, sister. I'm, uh, uh, I'm dying, sister. Okay. Yeah, I got TB. I got it. Beating a man to death <clears throat> for a few bucks. <sighs> I've lived a bad life, sister. 
We've all lived bad lives, Mr. Morgan. We all sin. But I know you. <laughs> you don't know me. <laughs> Forgive me, but that's the problem. You don't know you. What do you mean? I don't know, but whenever we happen to meet, you're always helping people and smiling. Yeah. Uh, I had a son. He passed away. I had a girl who loved me. I threw that away. My mama died when I was a kid. And my daddy... Well, I watched him die. That weren't soon enough. My husband died a long time ago. Life is full of pain. But there is also love and beauty. What am I gonna do now? Be grateful that for the first time, you see your life clearly. <laughs> sure. Perhaps you could help somebody. Yeah. Helping makes you really happy. <sighs> but I still don't believe in nothing. <laughs> Often, neither do I. <laughs> but then I meet someone like you and everything makes sense. <laughs> You're too smart for me, sister. <laughs> I guess I... I'm afraid. There is nothing to be afraid of, Mr. Morgan. Take a gamble that love exists and do a loving act. All aboard! I shall try. I know you will. Got goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Morgan. Bye. Goodbye. Sister. Minor of conversations completed. And yeah, I know I have mail. We'll do that later. Arthur attends a truce meeting between. Colonel Favors and Rainsfall, where Rainsfall hopes to negotiate peace. Peace, not feast. Yeah, I... Despite what Captain Monroe says, I don't think peace was ever going to be an option here. Oh, wait. Kill all pursuers... Pursuers... Ho, kill a pursuer's horse during... I, why would I want to kill a horse? Wait, I'm never... I'm never fast enough, and I'm never accurate enough. But that was... That was a really, really good quest. I really, really liked that one. Especially the random appearance of... Mother Superior, sister, whichever she is, but that was Welcome. How do you do? How do you do? Brought out all the fields. Feels, not fields. Oh Lord, I am I am speaking oh so poorly today. But I, I'm after all of that, I am gonna pause here today. So in tomorrow's video, um, I should probably give Arthur a rest. He looks exhausted. And then I want to do I'll probably get my mail. Do Hamish's quest. Um, Charlotte's quest is up here. We need to work on that too. I know one of you mentioned in the comments. I don't need to do all the side quests before like the main missions end, but I kind of want to do as many of them as I can just to kind of keep the story going. I, I'm, I'm, I don't know how it works on like when the game ends. Um, can I still like explore and 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 literally do everything afterwards? I. You know what? I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> I'll just get done what I can and, and see how it all goes. But anyway, I'm, I'm really rambling now. So as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe. And I will see you again tomorrow with another new Red Dead Redemption 2 video.